طيب let's finalize lecture 17 and in this segment we're gonna talk about dam color number Gerhard dam color who lived a very short life was a professor at the University of Göttingen Germany between 1936 and 1944 he was one of the founders of chemical reaction engineering dam color number which is a dimensionless number was named after him examples of dimensionless numbers can you recall some of some examples of dimensionless numbers I'm sure the first number comes to your mind as Reynolds number okay so Reynolds number we use this in fluid mechanics so Reynolds number is a ratio between inertia forces and viscous forces then we have Prandtl number we use it in heat transfer which is a ratio between momentum diffusivity and heat diffusivity and so on so what's in common between all of these numbers well the first thing you would say that they are all dimensionless numbers right yes and the second thing is that they are ratio between two things right two phenomena inertia forces divided by viscous forces so you're comparing those two forces to each other and the same thing with the other numbers they are ratio or comparison between two phenomena and the last thing that they are an indication of something they are an indication of a given behavior so let's look at damp color number damp color number is a quick estimate of the degree of conversion that can be achieved in continuous flow reactors so if you look at a damp color number you can tell would if we gonna get if you're gonna get a high conversion or not the damp color number is the ratio of the rate of reaction of a to the rate of convective transport of A at the entrance of the reactor. Yani, it's again a ratio, a comparison between reaction rate of A divided by the convective rate of A, both evaluated at the reactor entrance, or the rate of reaction at entrance divided by the entering flow rate of A. Simply, you write it as minus r a naught divided by entering flow rate as f a naught but because this will not be dimensionless number now we are multiplying by v okay so let's try this out on a first order irreversible reaction so the damp color number d a 1 1 refers to the first order reaction becomes minus r a naught times v and we know for first order reaction minus r a naught equals k times c a naught times v divided by f a naught which can be written as epsilon naught times c a naught the c a naught cancels out and you get v over epsilon naught which is tau multiplied by k let's look at damp color number for a second order a reversible reaction d a 2 so that would be minus r a naught equals k times c a naught to the power 2 times v divided by epsilon naught times c a naught and in this case c a naught is cancelled out with a c a naught with one of the c a naughts in the numerator so you get this relationship in general for an nth order irreversible reaction you get the color number equals tau times k times c a naught to the power minus uh, n minus 1 okay so this would help you to answer this question which is what does the conversion in a flow reactor depend on what does a conversion in a flow reactor depend on so if you want to know the conversion you look at damp color number 
And in order to look, I mean, beyond that, you look at the equation for Damkler number. And this shows that the convergence function of tau, which represents the residence time, which is reflected in the volume of the reactor and the volumetric flow rate, entering volumetric flow rate. And it's also a function of K, representing how fast the reaction takes place. And it's a function of CA0 as well, which affects two things. It affects, CA0 actually affects the rate of reaction and it also affects the entering flow rate. So, by looking at the Amkler number, you can know now that the conversion of flow reactor depends on these three things. It is important to know what values of the damp color number give high and low conversion in continuous flow reactors, just like Reynolds number. So we see somewhere below 2000, you have laminar flow, somewhere above 5000, you have a turbulent flow. So the same thing with damp color number. You should know these ranges or these numbers. So the rule of thumb is if damp color number is less than 0.1, then the obtained conversion would be less than 10%. If damp color number was higher than 10, then the obtained conversion would be higher than 90%. So thus, we finish lecture 17. Thank you for listening.